looking at what we were left with last time, we have this form, but we need to fill in the total number of lessons and the next lesson. So this video tutorial is looking at the total number of lessons. Now, before we start doing the technical bit, we're going to just try and understand what the question is asking. It says, for total lessons an instructor has delivered and has booked to deliver in the future should be displayed. That basically means all lessons. It doesn't matter whether they're in the past or in the future. But if the instructor has never had any lessons, then the phrase new instructor should be displayed instead. So let's look at what we're trying to achieve. I'm going to use some bullet points to write something called pseudocode. And that's spelled like this, P-S-E-U-D-O. What this means is it's, it's some sort of code that you understand. It's a way of writing that you understand that you can then translate into something that we can understand uh, technically. So what we're saying here is we are saying that if the instructors had no lessons, okay? So if no lessons, right? And that is our condition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put no lessons on a new line and I'm going to indent it. Um, what are we going to do? So if no lessons, then this is what we do. If there's no lessons, we display the phrase new instructor. Otherwise, so else, what are we going to do? Otherwise, we're going to display the number of lessons for the instructor. And then we can end our if. So if you look at this, if there are no lessons, then we're going to display a new instructor. Else, we're going to put the number of lessons for that instructor and then we're going to end. So if we turn this into uh, looking at how this is going to work on here, we're just going to start by displaying the number of lessons uh, in total for everybody, regardless of who the instructor is. So we're going to take the instructor bit out of it. This is just so we can build up our formula bit by bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger because we need a bit more space to work with this. And we're going to use a function called dcount. That will count records in a table. And we're going to count all records and we do that by using uh, the star, the asterisk, in speech marks. And we need to then identify which table we're going to count the records from. Well, the table that we're going to use is going to be the lesson table. So what this will do is it will count all records, so that's star, in the lesson table. Let's have a look and see what this does. So we go to saying with six records in the lesson table. Let's have a look at the lesson table. Six records. Brilliant. And just to show it doesn't matter what the instructor is at this stage, if I move across to all the different uh, records, they're all six. What we now need to do is only show the records, the number of lessons for this instructor. So we only want the records where the instructor matches this instructor ID here. So if we have a look at this, this is called instructor ID on this form. And if we have a look at the uh, lesson table, the instructor ID is called lesson instructor ID. So we only want to see these records here where the instructor ID matches. So we have a look at this. What we're saying is that in the lesson table, we want the lesson instructor ID. So we write lesson instructor ID. And we put that in square brackets with speech marks around it. With a, sorry, we don't put speech marks around the whole lot. We just put speech marks in front of the whole condition. And we want the lesson instructor ID to match the instructor ID on this form. So again, we put that in square brackets, instructor ID. Now we've got to close the speech marks because this is now the end of a condition. So what this will do is count all records in the lesson table where the lesson instructor ID from the table lesson matches the lesson instructor ID here. Let's have a look now. So this is now saying there are two okay, lessons for instructor one. So look at that. 
instructor one, two lessons. So we should see that seven and 15 have got one lesson and four and five, uh, have got, sorry, 17 has got two lessons. So if we scroll through, look at that. These have got zero, but we don't want it to dis display zero, but that's okay, we're building this up bit by bit. There's seven, one lesson. Go across to 15, one lesson. 16, no lessons. 17, two lessons. That's great, it's counting it up for us. So here's the formula that we used. And what we're going to do now is I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that into here, into my pseudo code. So it's gonna replace this bit. Right, just so that I can see what I'm doing. So it says if there's no lessons, then write the word new instructor. Other word, otherwise, put this D count in there. Well, we don't need the equal sign in front anymore because the equal sign goes at the front of the function. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a function. So we're going to say equals if. Now an if in databases is done using two i's, i, i, f. I'm just going to make that a little i so you can see. It stands for inline if. And what we do, okay, is we always open the brackets, so equals if, we put the condition, then, so the then part, we put a comma. So I'm going to replace that with a comma. And the else, I'm going to replace with a comma. So we have if, then, else, and then our end if, which will be a closed bracket. So that's where we're going. I'll just put it back to normal now so that we can actually read what it's going to say. We've still got our if, then else. So we want to say, if the number okay, of lessons is zero, then we're gonna display a new instructor. Well here, we know the number of lessons because we've got this D count. So I'm gonna copy that to here. So we're gonna say, if, the number of lessons, just put that then on a new line, if the number of lessons equals zero, then display a new instructor. Otherwise, display the number of lessons. So we've just repeated this bit here, number of lessons, number of lessons equals zero. So what I'm gonna do now, put my commas in, if then, else, end if, will be a closed bracket. And that is the function that we want to use. Now that we've got our function, we need to put it into uh, this text box. Now we could just type it in, that's absolutely fine. Equals IIF, open bracket, D count, open bracket. It takes quite a while to type it in. Or we could copy and paste it. Well, before we copy and paste it, we need to move all of the bullet points, remove even all of the bullet points. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, is I'm just getting rid of every bullet point. So we've got a formula that we can use. And of course we'll get rid of the bullet point at the beginning. Now what we can do is we can copy and paste, okay, this function. So I'm gonna just get rid of that and we'll paste this in. Oh, I can't paste with right and click, so I'm gonna do Control V. Now I suspect this won't work because, yeah, that's correct. What I've found is, and I don't know why, but I've found that the speech marks around new instructor need replacing. Can you see, if you look very carefully at this speech mark here, it's slanted. Whereas these speech marks here are vertical and they need to be the vertical ones. It's one of those odd things. And now, what we have is our function that says, if the number of lessons is zero, then display new instructor. Otherwise, display the number of lessons. So let's just reduce that. And we need to test it, of course. So let's see if we go to view. Ah, so number one has got two lessons. We know that's what we were expecting, if we remember from before. Look at these. These were new instructors now. Was it instructor seven that had one? There we go. And I think if we go to instructor 15, they've got one. 16 is a new instructor. 17 has got two. 
and of course there is no 18 but it comes up as new instructor ready okay so we've done that bit and now what you've got to do is annotate it to explain each of these things you need to explain what if does you need to explain each of the different parts of decount of the star the lesson the condition the equals zero so this is saying if the number of lessons is zero you need to explain the then part and then the else part and the else part is displaying the number of lessons which is the decount again so you explain that and show a screenshot and when you come to show your screenshot you'll need to make this a bit bigger so that you can show that it's existing we might need to move that one out of the way as well oh, no, there we go that's now our, ready for our screenshot okay so the next tutorial is going to show you how to do the next lesson.